Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about microphones. More specifically, whether or not you should use a lavalier mic, like this Wireless Go 2 here, or a shotgun mic, like this Video Micro, also from Rode. Now, the major difference between the two is kind of where you would place the microphone. The lavalier mic would go really close to the person that's you know talking, your audio source. Uh, for me right now, I'm using the other Wireless Go that's you know clipped under, onto my shirt and it picks up the voice of the person really well. The other one here on the right, uh, the video micro, this is a shotgun mic, and this gets mounted to the top of your camera, well, generally speaking. So there's a hot shoe or a cold shoe mount down here, and you would attach this onto your camera, and then it would pick up sound kind of based on where your camera is pointing. So when I started, uh, I was recording videos with my phone, uh, and the audio was absolutely trash, and a lot of people say that the audio in your video makes up for half your video. What that means is people are willing to forgive, you know, out of focus video or something that's not super high quality, as long as the audio sounds pretty good. So if you're starting out, which one should you choose? Uh, should you get the lavalier mic or should you get like this shotgun mic? So which one you would choose really depends on the type of video you're gonna shoot. So for me, I'm typically behind the camera, so a lavalier mic uh, works well for me. I'm able to clip this to my shirt and pick up the audio from my voice, you know, really, really clear. If I had a shotgun mic, this would be pointing towards whatever the camera is facing, uh, and it actually won't pick up too much sound from the back. So these two mics have different polar patterns or polar types. Uh, what does that mean? It means the area that the uh, mic picks up sound from is a little bit different. So for the lavalier mic, it's what they call an omnidirectional mic. So this mic here, so underneath this uh, wind muff, this mic here, actually picks up sound in all directions. So if you were to say mount this on top of the camera, let's say you mount it this way so that you know the camera is pointing to the to the right, and you have your your subject over here and it's and they're talking, it will pick up the sound. But if you have sound coming from behind the camera or to the sides, it would also pick it up. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, this thing will pick up sound from any direction. Now for the shotgun mic here, or the, the Rode Video Micro on the, the right here, this polar pattern uh, is what they called cardioid. So what does that mean? It means this will only pick up sound that is in front of the mic. So if you have something that's behind the camera, maybe the cameraman might you know make some noise, it's less likely to pick up that noise. Some other shotgun mics are what they called super cardioid. That will pick up some sound from the back, uh, but the majority of the sound will come from the front. So I guess the polar pattern or the polar type uh, is important when you think about what you are gonna film. So for example, for me, I am behind the camera. That means I have to mount this shotgun mic backwards before it'll actually pick up my voice because I am you know, behind the camera. Now, if you are doing a vlog, then this shotgun mic might actually be a good idea because it's one less thing to set up. So let me demonstrate. Okay, so this is my A7 III, it was recording right now. Uh, the audio is still coming through the that A7 III there and it's coming through the uh, lavalier mic here or the wireless go to. What I wanna demonstrate is how this shotgun mic goes on top of the camera. So there's this cold shoe here, you put it on, you kind of tighten it here, and then you have your mic done. So if you are vlogging, typically what you would do is you would have this mic on the top, you would hold the camera up like this, and then you would walk around and talk to the camera, you know, I mean, personally, I think this is very weird, but you know, vloggers do this all the time and they don't have to stick anything on their shirt. All this is in one package like this. So the setup is much easier, much cleaner. If you are a vlogger, I think this setup would probably be the easiest one for you. And of course, you have to make sure you plug in the cable for the video micro or the shotgun mic into your camera. Uh, otherwise, you're not gonna get any audio. And also, the video micro comes with a wind sock or a wind muff. Uh, and it's basically mandatory to have this on the microphone. Uh, otherwise, when you're outside and there's a little bit of breeze, the microphone will actually pick up that breeze and it will get picked up in your audio. So you basically have to put this on the whole time and your setup will look something like this. So in my opinion, uh, if you're doing vlogging style videos, or if you are picking up a lot more like environmental sounds or sounds that are directly in front of the camera, then a shotgun mic is a much easier setup to have because all you need is this mic attached to your camera and you're done. So for a lavalier mic, there's a little bit more setup. There's kind of two pieces. You have the receiver, which is attached to the camera right now. And also there's 
the transmitter, which is the microphone, uh, which collects the sound and then sends it to the camera. So you have to kind of wire up your subject a little bit. So let's say you have your performer that's in front of the camera, maybe it's an interview style, you have to wire them up. You have to think about how to hide the, the transmitter, so the microphone. Um, if you don't care about it being in the scene, if you're filming yourself, then you know, that's fine. You'll have this road thing sticking in front of your shirt. Um, otherwise, uh, the shotgun mic is a lot simpler in its setup. So next, I wanna do a demo of what it kind of sounds like uh, if you switch between these two microphones. So for a kind of behind the camera kind of scenario like I'm doing now, if I use the uh, lavalier mic, I guess this is what it sounds like since I've been using it the whole time. But if I switch to the shotgun mic, um, let's see what it sounds like if I mount this, you know, facing forwards and also what it sounds like if I mount this facing backwards. So let me set that up now. Okay, so I have actually mounted the shotgun mic, uh, which you can't see, which is off camera right now. And I've mounted it to the back of the camera. And as I mentioned before, uh, it doesn't pick up too much sound from the back. So as you can probably tell, the audio is probably quite a bit lower already. Uh, and obviously this is not how it's meant to be used. So I'm gonna switch this back and point the shotgun mic backwards so that it's facing me behind the camera. All right, so now I've pointed the microphone backwards and it's facing me. So this is not typically how you would use the shotgun mic. Uh, and I still think the audio is probably a little bit lower because I usually have this lavalier mic almost, you know, underneath my chin. So the audio levels on the camera could probably be set a bit higher because the distance between the microphone and me is a, a bit further now. But that's something that you can, you know, sort out um, in the settings. So I'm just trying to keep the levels the same so that you can hear the differences just based on the distance of the microphone to me. So if I come a bit closer, this is what it sounds like. So again, this is typically not how you would mount the shotgun mic, but if you were behind the camera filming, you know, context, content similar to how I film where I'm behind the camera, then this might be how you would use a shotgun mic. All right, so now this is a vlog style kind of setup. Uh, I'm using the lavalier mic. Uh, I have it just underneath my chin uh, on my collar here, just clipped there. And I'm holding the camera at arm's length. Uh, this is kind of what it would look like if you're vlogging. And this is the sound you would get. Uh, it obviously sounds the same as before because the lavalier mic is clipped to the same spot uh, on my shirt. So this is just a kind of example of, of how you would use a lavalier mic to vlog with. And this is what it sounds like. All right, so this is the vlog type setup with the video micro doing the audio now. So I've mounted it on top of my a7 III and I'm holding it at arm's length. And this is kind of the audio you're gonna expect if you're using a shotgun mic uh, in a vlog style type video. I've kept the audio levels the same on the camera for both the lavalier setup and also the shotgun setup, just so you can get a uh, understanding of what it would sound like. But of course, if you were to use this, you can adjust the audio levels on the camera to make it you know, as loud or as soft as you need it to be. So while editing the video, uh, it occurred to me, what if I mounted the lavalier mic to the front of the camera like this and use it in kind of like a shotgun kind of setup. Now again, I've left the audio levels on the camera the same. So this is what it sounds like if you try to use your lavalier mic in a shotgun kind of position. All right, so if you are choosing between the two, I think there's kind of two things you have to think about. Uh, one is the simplicity of setup. So the wireless go or lavalier mics have a few more bits and pieces you have to worry about. So both the receiver and the transmitter have batteries, so you have to make sure that they're fully charged. You have to make sure that you've turned both of them on, uh, otherwise you'll you know, not be picking up any audio. You'll also have to make sure that there's no interference between the, the transmitter and the receiver, which can happen in busy areas. Uh, with the shotgun mic, it's kind of all in one. All you need to do is make sure that it's mounted to the camera, make sure you've plugged in the cable, uh, and you're good to go. Uh, especially for the video micro, there's no battery, there's no on button. As long as you plug it in, it gets power through this audio cable. That's not, that's not true for all uh, shotgun mics. I know Rode have some more expensive shotgun mics that have batteries and then you can adjust the gain, but it's still much simpler to set up a shotgun mic than it is to set up a lavalier system. Uh, the next thing to think about is, do you really care about the audio quality and also kind of the subject you're shooting? So if you are picking up dialogue, the shot gun mic may not be picking up um, the audio as clean or as well as the lavalier mic. The lavalier mic gets placed so close to the source, so I have this clipped onto my shirt, and you know it's like so close to my mouth that this will pick up much cleaner audio than the shotgun mic, which is mounted to the camera, and your subject could be quite a bit further away. 
So I think those are the two main things that you should think about when you are picking between a shotgun mic or a lavalier mic. Again, if you are just starting out, shotgun mic is fine. This is super cheap compared to this lavalier system. So anyway, hope this was useful and thanks for watching. Well, if you do have both a shotgun and a lavalier mic, uh, I don't know why you're watching this video, but you can plug your shotgun mic into your lavalier mic and then boom, you have a wireless boom mic. Anyway.